Which animal would win in a fight? The honey badger or Komodo dragon? The honey badger and Komodo dragon are two ferocious animals that are well known throughout the world. So everyone is quite interested and eagerly wants to know about their facts and comparison. Honey badgers, also known as ratels, are notoriously tough members of the weasel family, known for their tough skin and vicious demeanor. Though they are called the honey badger, they are actually less closely related to badgers than previously thought. Komodo dragons are large Indonesian lizards famous for their voracious appetite. These imposing reptiles sport a venom-laden mouth, a set of sharp teeth, and a keen sense of smell. What's even more impressive? They are the largest living lizard species. The name comes from rumors that a dragon-like creature lived on the Indonesian island of Komodo. Size and Description They have a body length of 2.2 to 4 feet, 0.7 to 1.2 meters, and a tail length of 6.7 to 12 inches, 17 to 30 centimeters. It measures 9 to 12 inches, 23 to 30 centimeters at shoulder height. Weight can differ considerably between males and females, with males ranging from 22 to 30 pounds, 10 to 14 kilograms, and females 11 to 26 pounds, 5 to 12 kilograms. Ratels look more like a weasel than they do a badger. These creatures are long-bodied with short legs and a broad girth. They have very loose and thick skin, giving them the ability to turn freely and fight when grabbed. They have long, coarse fur that lacks an undercoat. The fur on their back is white or gray, and from the shoulders down they are black. The average size of a male Komodo dragon is 8 to 9 feet and about 200 pounds. Females grow to 6 feet, 1.8 meters. Komodos come in a variety of colors, including blue, orange, green, and gray. Their skin is rough and durable, reinforced with bony plates called osteoderms. They have long claws and a large, muscular tail. Komodos have good vision. They can see objects as far away as 985 feet, 300 meters. They are also speedy. They can run briefly up to 13 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour. Their sense of smell is their primary food detector, however. Komodo dragons, like snakes, use their forked tongues to sample the air and then touch the tongue to the roof of their mouth, where special organs analyze the airborne molecules. Range and Habitat Honey badgers are found across portions of Africa and Asia, inhabiting the entirety of sub-Saharan Africa, as well as Iran, Nepal, Turkmenistan, and India. Their range spreads from southern Morocco to South Africa, and from the Caspian Sea to western India. Ratels are fans of dry habitats where they can dig up burrowing creatures and tear open dry trees. They are also found in forests as well as grasslands. They use their powerful front claws to dig a long burrow to sleep and bear their young. With such a quarrelsome animal, it should be no surprise that they are more than willing to steal the burrows of other creatures. Komodos are very rare and are found in the wild only on five islands. The Lesser Sunda Islands of Komodo, Rinka, Gilmontang and Gildasami, all within Komodo National Park, and the island of Flores, where the Komodo roams freely. The lizard's habitat can be anything from a tropical dry forest to a savanna to a deciduous monsoon forest. No matter where they live, 
The Komodo likes extreme heat. It is usually around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, with 70% humidity on the islands of Indonesia. Diet These predators are not particularly picky eaters. They will consume just about anything that is edible, making them opportunistic feeders. As anyone with a sweet tooth will know, honey is delicious, and honey badgers agree. While they enjoy hunting and tearing apart bees' nests, it is definitely not the only thing they will feast on. Some of the items on their menu include rodents, birds, insects, reptiles, frogs, fruits, vegetables, and berries. Komodo dragons are carnivores, meaning they eat meat. They are such fierce hunters, they can eat very large prey, such as large water buffalo, deer, carrion, and pigs. They will also eat smaller dragons. The Komodo has a unique way of killing its prey. First, it springs up and knocks the prey over with its huge feet. Then they use their sharp serrated teeth, which are a lot like a shark's, to shred their prey to death. If the prey escapes, it will die within 24 hours of blood poisoning. With its fantastic sense of smell, the Komodo will find the dead animal and finish its meal. Behavior Honey badgers are solitary and nomadic. They occupy a large range, moving around daily to forage. Female honey badgers tend to travel shorter distances per day, around 10 kilometers, while males may forage for as much as 27 kilometers per day. Males have been known to meet up with other adult-sized honey badgers after foraging and exchange grunts while sniffing each other and rolling around in the sand. Honey badgers are notoriously aggressive animals. Males in particular defend mates with incredible ferocity if threatened. Male interactions become aggressive if one of the males attempts to intrude into the marked burrows. They begin a dominance dance to determine who will stay. Komodo dragons spend the day roaming their home ranges, which can be as large as 1.9 square kilometers. They do not defend these home ranges, so ranges can overlap, but if food is found in a shared area, the dominant dragon gets to eat first. When food is found, the largest males are always first to eat, followed by smaller males and females, and then by juveniles who descend from the trees to eat once the adults have left. Their saliva contains more than 50 different strains of bacteria that can result in the death of prey from infection, even after only being bitten. Varanus komodoiensis digs burrows that it retreats into at night and when the weather is very hot. In a fight to the death between the fearless honey badger and the great komodo dragon, who would win? The main thing to note is that honey badgers are a fearless species and very aggressive. They can start fighting with predators without knowing about their size and characteristics because they don't have any fear of any animal. Sometimes they even start a fight with a lion. The honey badger has the strongest and most powerful teeth, jaws, and claws, and is immune to poison. They are very smart and emit a strong odor that is used as a form of defense against large predators like lions. It has sharp and powerful eyes that help them to see their enemies from a long distance. The Komodo dragons are known for their venomous bite that has various secret toxic proteins. The Komodo dragon is blood-tinged for a reason. Its teeth are completely covered with gingival tissues, and it naturally lacerates when they are feeding their young ones. The honey badger has a good immune system that can even withstand a bite of a king cobra, 
while the Komodo dragon has saliva which is very toxic. If the match was based purely on size, the Komodo dragon would be an obvious favorite, but there's much more to take into consideration. It is known that often the Komodo dragon just bites its prey to infect it with its toxic saliva. Prada dies after 24 hours, and with its fantastic sense of smell, the Komodo will find the dead animal and finish its meal. But what about an animal that doesn't give up? Because the honey badgers keep on fighting until the attacker gets tired and gives up hope. I don't know what to say. I tend to be with the dragon because of its size, but if the toxic effect of the saliva won't make its effect, it's hard for me to believe that it will win. I think it will be a draw. What's your opinion? That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.